I was gone for two days. Uh, well, I wasn't gone. I was inside editing videos and doing laundry and things like that. And I come back in and it's done. <laughs> How's it going there? I'm trying to turn it around. I got it fit. <laughs> it's like a, doing a 36 point turn in a car, right? There you go, I did it. Phew. It's been a long journey to get where it feels like it could really be a home. It's once you start sealing it up, it starts feeling like something you could live in, <laughs> not just a weird metal box. This week was focused on getting the walls up, and I can say we succeeded. There was a lot of trial and error at first. And then we realized we couldn't be perfectionists about it. You just gotta move ahead. Today, Mello's working hard on videos, trying to get some of these edited for you. And I'm gonna try build a jig so that we have a really good way to cut our corners exactly for the rounded windows. Thanks to uh, Ivan and Sylvie on LaCroix Cruiser. We saw how they did it for their work on their bus. I'm gonna try to make my own method of that, so wish me luck. We actually have that one window extra bonus window. So I'm gonna be able to actually set that in and use it as a guide for my router cut. Today's a big learning day as well because I borrowed the old 1970s Craftsman router. Thanks to my cousin Gene. Well, we're doing two things. Learning how to use a router and learning how to make a jig. So, double trouble. Now I wouldn't normally do this with a window, but because I know that the double pane in this is already busted, that's why I'm using it with my guide. Well, as you can see here, it does not look very good. User error, wrong blade. Maybe I'm thinking this wrong. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna trace out a line and just take my time with the jigsaw. Much, much cleaner. Very nice cut. I can put my router so the blade goes down here and that I push against that with the spinning wheel and it guides me along. I just gotta make sure this fits real snug on the windows. Next step is to trim off some of the excess and then make some little stoppers. Okay, this looks like this jig might work, so now I just gotta test it out. All right, it looks to me like my jig needs to be longer so I could get the router to fit in there. So I'm gonna build it one more time. the hardware store, I got some new bits for the router my cousin let me borrow, which was probably made about the same time I was. It's heavy and it's bulky and the plastic's old and I borrowed it from my cousin, Gene. Sorry Gene, this little plastic part broke on me. After a day of experimenting, I figured out doing some research that I had the wrong kind of bits. We had to get a router bit that had a ball bearing at the bottom so that when I cut into our new wood panel for our walls, it could follow the track of the new jig that I created, the template, and make a nice clean cut. My dad had been wanting to get a router and as soon as he found out that I was having router problems, he got this nice miniature Bosch router. It's really easy to use because you can hand hold it. All right, I don't know how this thing works, so Don is going to show me what he's figured out with this router, and we're gonna start cutting out holes and putting our walls up. Figuring out how we wanna do our walls <laughs> seems to have been probably more effort than we needed to. I don't know, we've gone back and forth, we could turn and the 
the Luan this way or this way and how would that help and blah 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 until our heads were spinning. Eight foot by four foot pieces of Luan and there are beams every 58 inches, 56, 56 inches, inches, 56 inches. So the problem is none of that lines up. <laughs> so even if we start cutting Luan, we're throwing Luan away, things still won't line up. We just decided put the first piece in, cut the window holes out and keep going. Baby. I'm not gonna get too excited until we put it up against the window yeah. though. <laughs> How's it going there? I'm trying to turn it around. I got fit. <laughs> It's like a, doing a 36-point turn in a car, right? There you go, I did it. Whew. So this is the fast cut side at the bottom. That's why I did that 36-point turn. So we want to frame the window somehow, but we're not quite sure exactly what we want to do. If we want to make it look like a house window and make them a square little frame around it or what. Um, so does anybody have any ideas for us? If so, comment below. Links are great. Send us to other photos or links of how somebody else has done it. What do you think we should do? So these are the original walls that we made before we changed our window plan that we're going to sit underneath the big bus windows. They don't fit anymore obviously but we're going to try and make use of whatever we can of it in places like in the back closet. How do you feel about first day of wall? Oh, it was a heavy one. <laughs> no, know how I feel. It's hard to make it neat. How do you make all your cuts and your seams neat? And how are we gonna fold them in and not, you know, have it look smooth and slick? And I'm, I'm still worried about it. Oh, well, I'm back locking up the bus. Today was the first day to try to get the walls up. And we got this done, and the two tiny parts in the back here. There. The rest of it, we made no progress on. I'm feeling defeated. Maybe it's just that we had a late start after trying to decide how to do this. I don't think there's any good way to do it. Feeling disappointed, but tomorrow's another day. My dad and I came out for a couple days to knock out a whole bunch of the walls. We got a full wall up and then I realized we need access to the frame on the side of the bus because we got seat belts we need to put in. So I got to take it all down and drew some holes with the hole saw so we've got access to those bolt holes. All right, I got that done. I'm gonna go ahead and start on this side by myself. Mel is inside editing videos, working hard to get videos for you guys. It is pretty easy to work with, that's for sure. It is, yeah. It's a lot better than drywall, I'll tell you that right now.
pretty good day. Got four panels done, passenger side wall. See how she fits up there? Yeah. Right, see? 25 and 3 eighths. Perfect. Get ready to give the old Choco special. Are you guys at a place where you could break the lunch in? Um, yeah. You guys think what time is it? Yeah. Is it lunch time? to reuse some pieces of the walls we cut out before. We painted them white already and we've put them back here in the closet. We were a little worried that it wouldn't look the same as the Luan, that there might be a difference. <laughs> um, they both are one eighth, so you know, it is the same thickness. Um, but just in case, uh, once we painted the Luan, maybe it would look slightly different than the birch plywood. We decided to just put it back in the closet here because nobody will see it anyway. And it kind of gives us an idea of what it'll look like because it is already painted white. And just like every project on the bus, just as we're finishing it up, we finally got a technique that works. So for each piece, we've had to make sure and measure it as we go along so that we can get the length right first. Then we'll have to cut down this top piece so that it'll be the right height. It would be nice if we went all the way up to the ceiling, but it's too much of a curve. Our frame strips that we've got here, we actually don't want to go up over those because then it would also curve and break the wood there. Don, how does it feel to be back in the bus? Uh, since yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I've been out here the last two days now. I know. How does it feel? Yeah. Well, we were sweating. I mean, it was just too, so hot in here. You guys have insulated this too well. <laughs> Between cutting with the jigsaw and the router, there's sawdust everywhere. So we've been using these because after the first day, we went in and blew our nose and then everything was full of sawdust. So we've been using these masks just to try to not breathe in as much sawdust. Now that we got the piece up, we just hold it in place and we've been using a square to kind of mark out where our windows will be cut into the wood. Since we know where our vertical cuts have to be, we just have to figure out where our horizontal angle is going to be. So what we've been doing is taking the right angle, put it in here, and then I can just measure up and see what our depth that I have to cut into is. So just do a very rough cut with the jigsaw. We use this jig that I made to perfectly line up where the curve should be and use the router to cut into it. Once we've got it up in place then we're just putting a few um, wood to metal screws up through the top beams. We also have those wood beams throughout the bus, so we've been using wood to wood screws for those, and that'll hold it even more securely up against the wall. So right next to the windows, we've taken a couple lats and broken them down so that we get a nice, even surface from where we're putting the wall in at the top, on the beams, and right next to the windows. It just gives us another fastening point to really hold it in place. We just had a couple places up in the front of the bus where we had to measure and cut some wall. Look at 
that straight line. I am a perfectionist, so it's hard for me to look at some of the seams that aren't perfect, round corners that aren't perfect. I don't know, everybody's already told us when we started cutting walls. We're never gonna get it perfect, fill it in with caulking and all of that stuff. Uh, pick a spot, fill it in with some caulking, let it dry, sand it, and then paint over it. Just do maybe a section where there's some seams and see what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> or if we're not happy, just get some wainscoting yeah, to cover, cover it. it up. I've seen a lot of people use the the tongue and groove on their walls too, and I can I can understand why now. I wasn't crazy about it, but um, it would definitely just hide all those seams. Yeah. We've still got some decisions to make about the walls, but we'll make those a little bit later, and we still have to fill in the very, very back wall, but we've given our next little break, and I think we're ready to move to the ceiling. Get that finished. It's pretty cold outside right now, but it's okay because... Because we're working on the ceiling? Yeah, we're putting our planks in. We decided to move, seeing as it wasn't going super smooth in the front, we moved to the back because when your wife says, let's go do the learning in the closet where nobody will see. You move to the closet. <laughs> but we'll share that with you next time so we were re so we were be <laughs> I can't get it out so we were able to reuse some of some piece <laughs> hey, hockey stick very nice though